In this video, I'm gonna photograph some buildings in Williamsburg, Brooklyn. I'll take you along on the photo shoot and I'll show you how I process one of these images in Photoshop. Let's get started. Well, good morning. This morning I find myself in Brooklyn, New York, in an area called Williamsburg. And uh, my son actually told me about these two buildings, uh, I think brand new apartment buildings that very modern, very cool looking. So I figured I would come check it out. Now, a couple things. One, I apologize for the sound. Uh, I forgot my lavalier mic, so this is just the microphone from this camera which is really not great I'm assuming you can hear me okay uh, second thing I apologize for not posting uh, any videos in a while uh, I've been pretty busy actually with uh, other types of photography mostly portraits and headshots so here's some stuff I've been working on for the past you know month or so <clears throat> um, some in my studio some on outside locations uh, one of them actually on the water I was uh, hired to photograph a rower and a skull uh, in a fabulous morning on, the, on Long Island Sound. Anyway, uh, let me show you these buildings. <clears throat> let me get set up and see if I get a great sky and can get some shots off and not get kicked out of here by security. We'll see. So this is one of the buildings and there's sort of a, I'm not sure it's quite a mirror image, but a very similar building on the other side. Uh, I'm going to try to get a wide-angle lens and get both. Hopefully I get some detail in the sky, some moving clouds. That would be ideal. Uh, but uh, there is a security guard in that lobby and one in that lobby. My fear is they're going to come kick me out. By the way, right across the river, that is Lower Manhattan. So we are right on the East River and you can see Lower Manhattan in the background there. Well, I actually found my lavalier mic, so I'm hoping the sound is a lot better now. It would be an interesting test for me to see how effective this is. Uh, but uh, let me uh, get my tripod out. I've got my wide angle lens on. I'm using a 16 to 35 millimeter lens. And uh, sky's getting a little interesting, maybe. Fingers crossed, we'll see. Well, I've got my camera set up up here uh, between these two buildings. You can see it up ahead. And I'm, I'm on a tripod, I'm shooting straight up, getting both in the frame. Wish I had a slightly wider lens, but it's definitely working okay. Well, I'm using my 16 to 35 millimeter lens. Uh, I wish I had a little wider lens. I should do at home, but didn't bring it. Uh, but that one's so wide I can't put filters on it. So if I want to do a long exposure, this is the lens I'm going to use anyway. Uh, and I'm getting, you know, the bulk of the buildings in there. Uh, I probably should lower my tripod a little bit, but then I'd have to sit on the ground and look up. Probably should do that. Uh, and the sky's not there yet, but we'll, uh, we'll be patient and hopefully I don't get kicked out of here. Well, I am getting some detail in the sky, some clouds that are very slowly moving across the scene. Well, I put my 10-stop uh, neutral density filter on my camera, and that's gonna allow me to go out a much longer exposure. So I'm, now I'm doing about 90 seconds, and because uh, I got a little detail in the sky, but frankly, it's not that great. I don't think these are gonna work yet. I'm gonna be patient, no one's bothered me. It's still well before, not well before, but before sunrise. And uh, I'll hang out here until someone kicks me out and maybe find a different location down here. We'll see. Well, the sun has risen. If you look across the river at some of the buildings, in Manhattan, you're starting to see an orange glow. That's the reflection of the sun uh, in the window. So I can't see it this way, 
But uh, somewhere over there, let me widen this out a little bit, the sun is rising. Well, I came back on the main road to photograph one of the buildings from a different angle. By the way, that bridge way in the background, that's the Williamsburg Bridge. Um, this angle, there is a, a lot going on here. It's super interesting, I think. I may have to clown out a couple of distracting elements, but uh, I'll turn it around, I'll show you what I'm looking at. So I'm out on the edge of the street now. Not in the street, but pretty close. And uh, this is the view of this building. Uh, tons of angles and the sky is uh, you know, creating some highlights. You have shadows, so there's a ton of contrast, which makes it interesting. Uh, this building, by the way, is also fairly interesting from this angle, so I'll probably just turn my camera and shoot this way as well. Well, I put my neutral density filter on. Uh, those clouds up there, when they move, will create some pretty cool streaks, I'm hoping may not be defined enough. It would be better if there was some blue sky and some white clouds, you get real contrast, but hopefully this will create something. Well, I am gonna go down towards the river, the East River, and uh, I'm actually heading west, it's the East River because it's on the east side of Manhattan, but I'm going to see if, what these buildings look like from, uh, from a different angle. Oh wow, the uh, World Trade Center looks pretty cool, there's some clouds along the top of it. Uh, anyway, I'm not shooting that today, I don't think, unless I get my long lens out, might be kind of cool, I don't know. Too much to look at. So this is a pretty cool angle as well, I'm trying to get both buildings in from this angle. So again, using my wide angle lens, going out to 16 millimeters, there is some definition in the sky. Doing a 90 second exposure now, we'll see if, uh, if this one works. Well, the sky is getting a little bit brighter, especially in this direction because the sun is rising over there, or has risen over there. Um, and so I can't go out as long as I want to from an exposure standpoint. Uh, I did change my settings a bit. I'm still going out about a minute, which will capture some of this cloud movement if, if it occurs, which it, it looks like it is, so fingers crossed. You know, if the conditions were better, this would be a really cool shot. I've got the Manhattan Bridge and the Brooklyn Bridge with downtown Manhattan in the background. Uh, unfortunately, this uh, is just very gray and flat. Uh, maybe sunrise, early in sunrise, if the, if the light is bouncing off those buildings and the bridges, or come back at sunset in the middle of the winter where the sun is setting behind those buildings. Well, I shifted a little bit and I'm actually just shooting one of the buildings from this angle. And as you walk around these buildings, they look really different. And they're picking up, again, highlights, shadows, uh, I love the angles and the contrast in the building, so this has been a really fruitful subject for me, I think, we'll see. Well, I think that does it for me in Williamsburg, Brooklyn this morning. I'm gonna head home. Uh, I hope I got some good shots. You've seen them already. Uh, if you do like this video, it does help the channel just to give me a like. Uh, and if you like this kind of content, make sure you subscribe to the channel so you don't miss future videos. Now, if you're into Photoshop, stick around. We'll jump on my computer. I'll take one of these images and show you how I process it in Photoshop. If not, we'll sign off here and until next time. Hey, that was an awesome morning. Love shooting these buildings. Uh, what I'm going to do now is show you how I turned this image into this image in Photoshop. And this was relatively simple. Uh, I didn't do a ton of work on this. <clears throat> My goals really were a couple things. One, have those buildings really pop. Uh, secondly, create some drama out of this. 
And then thirdly, make sure I'm showing the movement of the clouds in the sky because they were not that defined, but there are definitely some cloud movement and I can enhance that uh, in Photoshop. Um, the selection I made was just one selection and it was super easy. I selected the sky and I did that using the quick select tool. Uh, I've already done it, but just quickly, quick select tool and you want to highlight what you want to do. Sometimes you'll have parts of the building that get selected, like you look in the middle, you just hit the option key, which is going to detract from the selection, drag over what you don't want selected, and it did a pretty good job of finding the edges. Overall, these edges are fairly defined, so it wasn't too bad. Even up here, I can make this, uh, this tool smaller by just hitting the left bracket key. I'm going to hit uh, the option key, drag across, and again, it's going to do a pretty good job. And I play with it a bit more than that, but that was really all you had to do. I'm going to deselect this by hitting Command D. Now, I saved this selection. Uh, I think I called it Sky. Let's see, Select, Load Selection, and there it is, Sky. Hit OK. Try it again, and there's my selection. So again, I want to darken it a bit and really highlight the... Um, the movement of the clouds, and that really means adding contrast. And I did it in two steps. And by the way, there's a gazillion ways of doing kind of the same thing in Photoshop. And so if you have a different way, make a comment down below. But I first darken the sky a bit by just using the exposure adjustment tool and pulling down on the exposure, and that darkened everything. Uh, again, you see those buildings pop a little bit more already. But I really want more contrast. To achieve that, I used the um, curves adjustment layer. So I'm going to go reselect it. So I got this guy selected. I'm going to choose my curves adjustment layer. And typically for contrast, you're going to want some sort of S curve. You're going to pull up on the highlights and you're going to pull down on the, uh, on the shadows. And the kind of sharper that line is, the more of a, uh, of, a, of a contrast you're going to see. I want this a little bit darker, so I'm going to pull this down even more. And you could see if I take away what I, there's two steps, there's before, you know, pretty bland sky. There's after where you start to really see the contrast. And I went a little bit further than that. Um, for the buildings themselves, you know, I could have gone and made, made individual selections of the different parts of the building, but I really don't have to because there's already these great highlights and shadows in the building just the way the light was hitting it. And so if I select the buildings, I don't need to do that, right? If I just go and make my reselect the sky again, then I'll hit sky inverse. So everything but the sky is now selected, which means the buildings. And all I'm going to do is add some contrast. So again, I'm going to choose a curves adjustment layer, pull up on the right. That's going to brighten up the highlights, pull down on the left. That will darken the darker pixels. And you can see here's the before, here's the after. Not too dramatic, but it does uh, it does add to that contrast and it helps the overall image. So here was the before and here's the after. To me, a bit more appealing. The only other thing I did was I had some sensor spots. I got rid of those just using the, uh, I guess it was the remove tool or the spot healing tool uh, and that was all pretty easy. Hey, if you like this video, it does help the channel just to give me a like. And if you like this kind of content, make sure you subscribe to the channel so you don't miss future videos. And until next time.